All right, everybody, welcome back to some more Portal 2 Community Chambers. And guess what? We're still here on Sheepdog's map, Machine version 2.1. So since the last stream where I felt like we've made pretty much no progress whatsoever, I actually did a bonus stream um, that I'm not putting up on YouTube um, last week, like the day after we streamed this last time. Um, Sunday morning I did a bonus stream and we played around with some more ideas but ultimately I just kind of kept falling into the same kind of traps and the same moves that I was doing um, in the live stream so after an hour I was just like you know what I'm not getting anywhere and I actually last night I spoke to um, Sheepdog and um Sheepdog had told me in the previous stream that we was we was close and I did say to him or them sorry I did say to them at the time that if they could offer a subtle hint which wouldn't necessarily um, you know spoil anything then I would happily take it now I did say to them at the time don't give me it last night give me it tonight I don't know if they're going to be around tonight so um yeah, uh, if Sheepdog is around, then hopefully we'll get like a really subtle hint. What I have been told though, is I am missing something like really, I'm overlooking something really subtle as well. And, if, and the impression I get is if I can like not overlook that, then we've, we're pretty much home and dry. Cause I'm pretty sure that we can, we've worked out like the ending maneuver here whereby we take the, we position the portal with the light bridge on this portal here and then we come back through pick up the cube walk over blah blah blah, blah. everything is awesome so um where do we start where do we start where we have somewhere where we haven't already been and we haven't already tried like a million times i was one idea I have been kind of like throwing around and I haven't been able to make any use of it is do we need to put the cube through here somehow? And the reason I'm saying that is like looking at the way this geometry has been built here, it's it almost like we can, it's been built in a way that we can kind of stand here and put a cube through or grab the cube from here. Now, although that seems like a, a relatively good observation, I don't see that it really offers up too much, if I'm completely honest. So I'm just gonna sort of try and go through everything a little bit more with a uh, fine tooth comb here, just to see if I can find that one sort of Salty that we are sort of missing, um, and then sort of go through each and every scenario that I've been through to this point. So, the first thing I'm going to look at is if we don't keep the light bridge. Okay, so if we weren't to keep the light bridge, we could fire to there and head back over here, avoiding the fizzlers. Now, what we would need to do here is exit over here like this. Now, we would need to do two things here. We would need for, we'd need to find a way to, one, fire a portal onto the light bridge, which we can do, like so. It doesn't really matter which side we do it. Now, the bigger issue is, 
we now don't have a way to get back through to this side because we're not on the light bridge so the only way through back through to there is to walk through the fizzler which is why we would need the cube now to be off the button so there's no way that i can see to respawn the cube because it's too high and we don't have a way with the portals in these positions where we can actually get up onto that light bridge and cause that cube to respawn therefore I, I don't think this is the answer okay so that's that's scenario number one and like I said, I don't see anything new there. Okay. You got stuck in a traffic jam. Traffic jams are the worst. I get stuck in a traffic jam most mornings. My stairs, man, are an absolute nightmare to get down into the office in the morning. It's like, just, I don't know. I wish they'd like build like a relief road or something the stairs are just the worst what's going on dido killer how you doing welcome welcome okay option number two option number two is we do this You're free. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm doing well, thanks. Yeah, I'm doing very well. Been stuck on this one, though, for a couple of streams now, and it's uh, starting to get the better of me, I think. So, okay, um, option number two is we lower the uh, light bridge. By lowering the light bridge, that would allow us to do... Um, go through to here shoot the portal on there and then when we fly through we can actually walk along and crouch down that gap at the top and then drop back down on here now the problem is um by putting the port the the light bridge in the lower position we lift the cube off the button and therefore we don't have a way to then shoot the portal uh, onto the bridge, not the pole onto the bridge. We don't have a way to shoot the... Um, yeah, no, we don't have a way to then refire the portal because the cube cannot drop onto that button. So therefore, I consider that method and that option redundant. Everyone's popping in now. Look, we got uh, we got Sheepdog. What's going on, Sheepdog? How you doing? Still after that uh, subtle hint in a little bit. Um, I've got Steamstream here as well. What's going on, Steamstream? Welcome, welcome. I miss you, Fab. It has been a while. Welcome along hope you are all doing well you've survived the week welcome to the weekend and uh it looks like uh atoms here as well yeah i think we can squeeze you in buddy we can squeeze you in how you doing all right so that's um there, there's two things that have been observed now an additional thing i i can't remember if i did this in the last stream or not Libby's here as well. Libby Bapper, welcome, welcome. Uh, Dilo Killer is actually just telling us he's they've just finished um, Greasiest Doorknob. So, uh, yeah. They said they are finally free. All right, so if we were to swap this over to here, one thing I was playing with before was on the cube respawn. Now, I don't know how this would help me if at all I'm just running through the option like I'm just running through like what I've tried up to this point sheepdog and then um, I think we, we may we may take it but I'm just like running through just to see if I can see anything um, that I've missed but to this point what I can do is Yeah, okay, so I was dropping this cube here. Now, I noticed 
and I say I can't remember if I did this on the last stream or if this is what I was doing when I did my extra hour bonus stream on Sunday. This is grated, right? So the way it's designed to me seems to indicate that I can pick that up and move that like to there. Now I honestly don't know how that helps me. But it was a curious observation as to why that would be there. Now, at the same time, I say at the same time, it could work the other way around. This was on the other side. We could we could pick it up from there, but I don't think we'd be able to. Um, I don't think we'd be able to do anything with it here, like move it into a, a decent enough position from there. And we also played around, I think, with putting the cube on there, but that just turns off the bridge and doesn't really help us because we then don't have access to a portal or a bridge. So that kind of like is both of our problems where we've like been trying to deal with a problem where we only have one or the other. This kind of gives us both at the same time, which um, isn't particularly great. So, um, yeah. One other thing we could do from here, although I don't, again, I don't know if it helps us, is we can drop the cube over to that side through the, um, using that, that interesting geometry, which again, seems to indicate it could be used, much like the grating here indicates we could use it to move the cube while we're on one side of the grating. However, from here, the problem is because we have the highlight bridge in this position, we don't have a way to reclaim that cube now now based on that is it possible to do all right if we put a pull there what if we was to go back over to this side with the cube on there so that that's going to fall onto the button perhaps yeah okay so we do that onto there we come back through to here we then stand on here and fire our portal higher that gives us the low bridge okay now can we now? Yeah, I think we can. We can go back through here, and we could fizzle this cube, right? Now the problem here, look, yeah, okay. So this is the problem. So I was kind of hoping that we would then be able to put the cube through the portal onto the light bridge. But we don't. Well, there we go. The truth is out. Pepsi is more popular than Coke. Confirmed by scientific experiment right there. Um, yeah. You can take your Coke and you can... I don't know. Get, get, it, get it out somewhere else. And to be fair, if you're going to argue the case, please don't, because as my mug says, I'm the boss. All right? I'm the boss. Pepsi has won. It's been said. You may have opinions, but none of those matters. Pepsi is greater than all of your opinions. Because to be fair, we went off on a tangent of like trying to fix lights for about half an hour after um, Coco redeemed the... Um, the uh, light redemption reward and then I completely forgot about it the check the poll has been active for like half an hour though in all fairness so yeah all right so I think we also tried this didn't we now yeah we, we can't pick the cube up through the light bridge so I thought I was on something there but it seems like 
it seems like that is also a no go. All right, so as this, as sort of said at the start of the stream, we are going to turn to Sheepdog because I've been pretty much staring at this for like three hours, I think, and I haven't I haven't had any leads. What is my computer so much? So yeah, we're we're pretty stuck on um, any new leads, and as I said, I was talking we were talking to Sheepdog last night on the stream, and they said there's something really subtle that I've overlooked. But I was hoping like that going through all of those motions just there would have sort of like maybe given me some inspiration. And I thought it did at one point, but clearly nothing has um, come from it. So um, yes, Sheepdog. All of my kind of, all of my thought processes and everything up to this point leave me with either needing a light bridge or needing the cube on the portal button. There is a hint in the geometry of the map. Okay. So would that be this? The fact that this wall is missing here. I mean, I did wonder previously why that was like that. But I'm not sure what that's telling me. I don't know what it's telling me or what it's even... In even let me do differently Me to do everything and nothing. Mm. You're not wrong. Hello, Fumbly. Thanks for uh, stopping by and saying hi. Appreciate it, as always. And you 
enjoy the enjoy your morning. Oh, wait a second. Has the penny just dropped? That is evil. That is evil. Although ironically, I say that's evil, right? And then, did you see, have you seen some of the cheese I've tried to do on this map? I'm honestly surprised I didn't notice that before, to try that sooner. I found all the cheese, apart from the obvious cheese. <laughs> oh, I pressed F7 instead of F6. Son of a biscuit. <sighs> Son of a biscuit. Yeah, signs are all there, I guess. And so yeah, this to me though, this um that grating is um a bit of a red herring. We go down there, then we go through here like this. And then we can go over here. Uh, okay, now. How did I... How did I do this before? I know I'd worked it out. Uh, 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 out. That's it, that stays there. One stays there. No, it doesn't. Needs to go onto the button. Because I need to swap the light bridge to the upper position. I don't know why I'm singing songs like that. Okay, so that does that, that does that. Um. Oh, hold on. Um, now, how did I do this before? I think I do that. Next, can I shoot there? Oh, how did I do this before? Maybe I should have saved. Leo! What's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. Welcome, welcome. I don't think that's it though, because that would... Oh, damn. Alright. Had this before, right? Or did I... Did I cheese it? Did I cheese it and cheat? I'm sure I didn't. Pretty sure... I'd worked out this ending manoeuvre. Um... Um
Oh, yes. No, I remember what I did now. I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. Like it was December. And then we go. Flop. 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 We did it! <laughs> oh, we did it. Holy smokes. A sight I never thought. Time for an episode of taking picture and some singing lessons with... No, hey, man. Seriously, I... I love, I love a good sing song. Excellent chamber sheep dog. Again, I think your um if I'm completely honest, I think your rating systems are um <laughs> it's only five minutes from your perspective. So easy map, fair enough, Leo. Um yeah, to be fair, I think your um ratings are a little bit whack. <laughs> um I'm not sure I'd class that as a six out of ten, but um no, fantastic stuff, buddy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. All right. Now, let's head into some more hell. <laughs> we got Commute from Mike Stro up next. I, I, you see certain map makers, right? And you kind of think, hmm. I really don't want to read the description because I'm pretty sure it's going to tell me it's a 100 out of 10. <laughs> but uh, let's have a look, see what the workshop uh, description is going to portray for us. This is commute from Mike Stro. Just some little ideas with a significant. This puzzle has been in the works for quite a while, as can be seen from the thumbnail. One of the fizzlers uses an or gate. The significant is a little special. Cubes can only be placed on it in a fixed orientation. However, this might not be the orientation of your preference. Huge thanks to Libby for making this custom item. Often certificated puzzles are huge and complex and intimidating. There you will find none of that. This one is small, not overly complicated, whew, and looks friendly. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you will not break it. I'll try my best. Also, the music is not mine, but from PSML. What, is that Maestro map? No, Maestro music, I'm out. Only kidding. <laughs> oh dear. So let me fab. Catch you later. Um, it's not my favourite track from that mod, and I have always wanted to use it for a map. So yeah, difficulty is five out of ten. Yikes! If you think you know if you please let me know. In other news, my new puzzle game, my puzzle game, Soccer Band, has been released on Steam for absolutely ages. And if you haven't played it, why haven't you played it? Go play it, guys! It's absolutely freaking awesome. I still need to finish the final couple of puzzles on that, but uh, yeah, highly recommended. Go and check it out, guys. Go and support Mike in all his endeavours, both puzzle games and music related. All right. Enough of the plugin, let's get to the map. So we have conductive plates, we have a cube with a button. It opens up the fizzler as our orientation for our cube. Very nice indeed. That's our button for the sanctificator. And Thing to do things and stuff. We have a redirection cube right here. We have more stuff over here. Stairs to the exit. The exit criteria is... I don't know. Where is the exit criteria? There. There's the exit criteria right there. Okay. The, the layout of this map seems very familiar. You've, I think you've have you not like done like a like a three by th like a grid like rectangle cube kind of layout before? And I'm sure you have many times in your maps. 
No, I am raveling now. It's a focus and calm down. All right, so we've got something through there as well, which will activate the connection. That's the OR gate I can see. So that'll be cube on there. So to get the cube on there, we're going to have to centrificate it into here, one would presume. Um... Uh, yes, it's uh, it. There, there is a cost to it, um, Mika. There is. I don't know why I said it like that, but yes, it does cost money. That would have, that would have been suffice, but nope. Not done. Did have to go the uh, the long drawn out stupid way. Okay, so what if we was to do for a start? It doesn't really seem to serve much purpose, I'll be completely honest. What might serve a purpose is if we brought the laser cube through to this side, so respawn the uh, weighted cube here and plop and plop okay now we can send our weighted cube through here I think I hope maybe Yes, we could do that, we could do that, then we can switch the portal. Um, let's go on there for a start. If we line our cube up, say, yeah, go through here, through to here, and then shoot that on there. We then realize we've completely shot the wrong portal and screwed ourselves. Fantastic. You didn't see a thing. Alright, so then that's going to send the weighted companion... Uh, the weighted cube, sorry, not companion cube, the weighted cube through there. Alright, so, with that here, can allow us to bring the laser cube through to here. So we can leave that there on that button for now, and then I think we're probably going to want to do some form of setup if we can, which would involve the cube being redirected now into this next area here. Now, here's an issue. We don't get the cube through here. We could have put a Yeah, what we should have done there is we should have left a portal on that surface there. So in the um, in the efforts of um, what sucks to be me right now. I could have sworn I'd um, I could have sworn I'd create a safe spot. I guess not. I guess not. Cheap dog's map just won't die. Alright, speed portal. Let's go.
much rewarded then. Alright. Save! Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, no, Doctor, how you doing well, buddy? Good luck with studying. Keep on there. This we have positioned here, I think, didn't we? So then what I should have done before is this and this. It doesn't really matter about the position of that at the minute because we're going to move it in a moment, I think. So, so we respawn the weighted. And then we do... Nope, we do this. We bring. Just not my wife or anything. Uh, then we bring the weighted. Uh, no, we don't bring the weighted. We bring this one through to here, like so. Okay, I see an issue arising already. So the issue we got now is. Thanks for the hydrate, Coco. Um, we don't have access to the laser. Which is problematic. Very problematic indeed. So how do we address that and get around that? If we press the syndicator button now, that's just going to put the cube straight in the drink, isn't it? So I think we're going to have to... We're going to have to do like an element of reset here. Because... This ain't going to work. Dare you. Can't believe you've just, you know, you, you, you call, you call for the poll, right? And then the poll is answered and then you, you, you insult it. You insult the results of the poll. Goodness. Well, yeah, I'll be honest, I thought that's what you was getting at. I thought that's what you were getting at. Maybe I was uh, a little bit hazy, hasty there in my, uh, in my judgment of what you was talking about. All right, so... to do, what to do, what to do.
One thing to note here, and um, yeah, maybe an ob obvious observation, but it's an observation nonetheless, is like, I noticed that none of the um, conductive plates or the, um, yeah, none of the conductive plates line up with the portal surfaces. So we can't, it's not like we can hold open a fizzler and point the laser in a, in a, in a direction at the same time, which is interesting. All right, so let's let's try and um, let's back step and reset slightly. Okay, so we do that and that now. By doing that, I say we could like we could potentially like block the other cube by pushing that like up the fizzle. The problem with that is. Um, we only have two cubes. We need three cubes to make that work, I think. So that's not the answer. All right. So, um, if we used to bring this over here. How could we? Yeah, so this is like this is like that observation I just made where like kinda like it certainly comes into play here because when we've done all that, if assuming that's like the they're the right steps over there to get a cube into there and open that button, this is the sort of place where you could really do with like that and that being open at the same time. We can't pass through here without having a the the portals fizzles, right? So Conundrum now does certainly seem to be how does one now get portals back over here? I find this like a, an interesting position for portals looking at like where all the other portal surfaces are in the map. It's intriguing. Close that off. Actually, maybe not just yet. Leave that there. This should now allow me to bring the laser through. Yep, 
Yeah, now... Will allow me to do that with the laser. And I'm guessing... I'd want to do something like this now. Pick up this cube. Take it through. Keep the portal here. Then open this side. And bring the cube through to here. So what you've gathered is toxic slime equals poo juice, which equals Pepsi, which kills Bendy, and Bendy is a pe Pepsi hater. No, no, just, just no. I was really kind of hoping that Mike could have used. Um, <laughs> I was really hoping then that he'd used. Um, uh, Chell instead of Bendy there. Hate to see it. <sighs> okay, I was really... I was feeling really upbeat and positive for a moment there. However... I see an issue. Ah, uh, so the issue is now walking through into here. So I don't think it will help, but effectively now I could centrificate. Hmm. I was thinking I could centrificate the cube into this section now. The other thing I was just thinking a moment ago is would I have any benefit from syndicating a cube into there? But to do that I would need to syndicate the uh, to do that I would need to syndicate what? I would need to centrificate the. All right, I'm going to say I don't know if it's. I don't know if I've like screwed everything up by creating that safe spot, but um, so that, Mika. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it as always. Have a good sleep. I love the fact that that cube kind of like screams out in pain.
Oh, wait a second. I could maybe self-sustain that by doing... Maybe I can do it from the other side instead. Then uh, would have worked. It would have worked, but um we haven't got the um, portal on the laser. Or the laser, as the Americans like to call it. Yo, T Chairman, how you doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Hope you've had a fantastic week. Welcome to the weekend. Okay, so that almost worked, but it didn't, because... And I realise it's like a massive contradictory statement, but... It's a... It's a, it's a joke from... Uh, some British comedy somewhere. I can't think uh, where it is. The laser. All right. It's a fizzler. A fizzler donut. That would be the worst kind of donut. That would just sort of like disintegrate in your eye, in in front of your eyes, wouldn't it? Imagine what sort of a tease that would be. Let's remember to press that. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm possibly barking up the wrong tree here because I don't see a way in which I can... keep this side open, which is the crucial part. See, that's almost, that's the sort of thing I need. But I need to be on the other side with this weighted cube. So that I can open up this.
Because doing that just basically screws... everything. And that doesn't help either, because, you know, shooting the wrong portal and stuff. I don't think it's as much about the angles as you think, though, because of the way the map has been built. And I can now understand why the... Um, I now understand why the Sendificator locks in rotation. Because... If I could have pointed the, um, if I could have pointed that cube in the opposite direction, so it's pointing inwards, then I could significate the normal cube over there now. But because it kind of like always snaps it into position like that, um, I'm not able to do anything with it. Which is unfortunate. Uh, having said that though as well, we wouldn't be able to get through here because even if we had the other portal on there, we would now go through and switch to the laser. Laser. And then... We won't be able to pass through this fizzler here without resetting portals. Ha! Ha, ha, and ha some more. Yeah, it's a Mike Mappo money. What's going on, buddy? Hope you're well. How's your week been? Welcome to the weekend. Let me just um, just work backwards slightly here. So end game is laser cube's got to come here. So we've got to significate laser at some point. Laser's got to be coming out of there and into there, which means we need a portal there and a portal there for the finale, which isn't too bad. Of, too bad. We don't need to worry about the laser because we can always put the laser on last and then walk through there to get through to there. So.
the big concern really for me is how do we how do we even get the laser in there for a start If we were able to, I for a bit of less pretend, our favourite game of uh, all time. If we was to get that into there, let's say, and we had like the cube here, it wouldn't matter about portals because everything is like hard done, right? So we could then send that through there to the other side. I'm going to put this into here. That doesn't matter anymore. Oh, of course. Yes. Yes. And then what we would then do... Get rid of that cube by fizzling it again. Take this one. And put that over there like that. But in the meantime, we need to do things and stuff with And that didn't happen. Right, so let's go back to what we was doing with this whole let's pretend setup. So that would effectively give us that and that, okay. Now we would have the cube over here. We'd have to do a bit of like backwards setup here, I think. So for a start, we'd want to sendificate that into there, I think. Then Then we'd want to do this. All the time that cube has got to stay where it is. And then sendificate. That goes through to there. So then the missing piece of the puzzle would be a portal there and a portal there. And it's how you... How would you get... Oh, no. Yeah, that's pretty simple, actually. We'd do that and that. Then we'd pull this through here. With that. Place that there. Spawn the cube there. 
bring this over here like so which then sends that over to there should then be behind this cube here which it is indeed we lose the portals because we have to then do this and then we then have to do the same setup with the other cube um, just to get the portal there okay all right so we've done the hard bit we know how to finish the map it's the getting the so the bit we now need to work out and the bit that if we can sort if we can work it out we we have got this map solved is literally how do we um how do we get the uh cube the laser cube into there that's what that all hinged on, right? I would love to walk it through the fizzler money, I really would. So the only the only way I can see to do this open that up go back through here shoot the portal there and that's going to allow me to put this through to here yep Hold the cube under the floor co-op trick. I'm not even sure I know what that one is, to be fair. Coco, I've not... Uh, I don't play a lot of co-op. Co Alright, so the, the issue is... I want to put my portal there. Okay, maybe I'm worrying about the wrong thing at the minute. So if we do this first. It's going to have to do that, right? Glitching cart where if you hold a cube you can you can crouch and look directly down so the cube actually exists under the floor even though it looks like it's still over the floor in third person allowing you to carry cubes under fizzlers. See, I, I kind of feel like 
this also has to stay in here. Because once we've centrificated the laser cube into there, there's no way to activate that, right? Not necessarily. We could pull there potentially. I think the key is going to be. Both cubes over here. So close. Glitch happens because cubes are actually view models in the co op mode and they have to go through geometry despite how your view or another view would suggest. This can be solved by extending the fizzler triggers through the floor. Yeah, there's loads of weird stuff in um, in co-op, I know, from, like, no clipping around and stuff. Excuse me. See, How do I get back? Come on. Think, 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 think.
the issue always comes back to how can I use the laser or reposition the laser from the other side? This is hella frustrating. I've surely got to walk through this fizzler here. Because I don't see a way of being able to pass through here to press the button. Uh, sorry, through the other side to press the button because that would mean I wouldn't have a portal on that surface there. Unless... cube on there. I was going to say, unless there's a way I can walk all the way through. So... That's there on there. That's there on there. That's there on there. I think that's it. I think that's it. Alright. Alright. That's it. Okay. Make sure we saved. Now. Now that we have done that. Now that we've done that, what are we gonna do? I don't know. Alright, well, first of all, we're gonna move this. Next, we need to get the cube into there. So, that should be relatively straightforward. We can do... what? <laughs> I don't think it's as straightforward as I thought. Oh dear. Oh, wait a second, wait a second, no, okay, I thought for a moment I would have to centrifugate the cube over to this side as opposed to the other side, so that I still had the laser and I would still be able to interact with bits and pieces over the other side, so if I just go back to my save, um, I can demonstrate. Okay, actually. 
Yeah, just to sort of demonstrate what I was, like, insinuating there. If I was to do, like, this instead. With... That and there. And then we was, like, through here with a laser cube here. Pretty sure what we're going to see here. No, that is... what? Um, so what, that, boun that bounce is off? No freaking way. Yeah, and that's what I thought was happening. That's why I got so confused, Mike, because when I just did that trial, the cube looked like it kind of bounced out. And that's why I got kind of confused. But, yeah, all right. It serves me right for um, trying to do things and stuff, right? Okay, so... Now I see what that portal's for. I think that's for this one here. Okay, so we can do that. Take this cube through, remove this one from here. Uh, sugar, that was the wrong portal. Yo, Kester, what's going on? Yeah, having a good evening, thank you very much. How about yourself? Welcome to the weekend. If you had a fantastic, fantastic uh, oh, uh, week. Got anything good planned for the weekend? Alright, so let's sort this out a moment. Uh, Alright, so we think we did this, right? That, that's right. Then we went through here. And did this. We then opened that. We took this here. We did a portal to there. We did a portal to there. We moved this one out the way. We took this cube over here. And now it shouldn't matter about 
the position and the portals. We do this. Press the Cinificator button and Cinificate the cube through into our starting area. Like so. Alright, we'll do everything this weekend. You might try another map. Always good to be busy though. Okay, so now we have that and we have that. That is other extra. Uh, that other extra. The other area is now permanently open, so we're going to fizzle this cube. We're going to set up that and that. We're going to respawn the cube through here. Get the cube over to the Cinificator. Cinificate the cube over to here. Then we are going to do. What do we need to do here? Let's think, let's think, let's think, let's think. That was right. We do this. And we do that. We get a new cube again. Take it through to here. And we recenticate that through to there. Next up, we do that and that. We bring the cube through to here. We can then go through to here. Portal, cube, cube on Sendificator. Portal goes through to there. And we should have both cubes now in that area there. Fantastic. Uh, now that with this, we cannot do anything here other than fizzle portals. So we do that and that. We can now go back through to here and open this cube up. Like so, we can place a portal there and there. And then... Uh, yeah, we syndicate to where? Sorry. That's right. Uh, I'll change this portal here. Do you want to syndicate through here? And we can clear this again now. Oh. Did anybody see my cube? What did I do? Clearly I made a mistake. Oh. Right, well, it's not a biggie. No biggie. Here we go again on my own. There we go. That's that one. So now we just do this, this, and this. We then bring this cube around here through this. I like the repetitiveness here. And there we go. There we go indeed. Yeah, I really like the fact that the, you've got that like repetitive aspect on that whereby the same kind of steps you do to get the laser cube is pretty much the same and there is the same steps you need to do to like finish the map with the uh, standard cube so yeah um beginning and end of the map were relatively simple to figure out it was that one move man that one move to get the cube into this side which was the uh, real stumping point there but we got it we got it. Fantastic map as always, Mike. Thank you very much for making and submitting to the queue. If it was indeed you that submitted the map. Um, yeah.
awesome stuff. Really like that one. Let's uh, even give it a little little tickle on the favorite button right there. There we go. All right. On to the next one, which is Rebound by Metro Ham. This looks like a um, like it is a hammer map as well. And the notes on this one are nope, just have fun. So let's check out the um, description. What's my favorite testing element? That's, um, that's an interesting one. Um, favorite testing element. Um, I don't know, actually. I don't really think I have a favorite testing element, if I'm honest. I know my least favorite, and that's obviously a, well, I say obvious, but that's a um, least favorite is the uh, the turrets, as I think is probably most people's. Uh, but yeah, I really probably couldn't say about a, a most popular, uh, sorry, a, yeah, a favorite one. The laser is quite versatile. You can do lots with lasers. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't really know. I can't really pick. I don't really think I have a favorite. Anyway, this is Rebound by Metroham. It's been two years since I made a new map. Uh, this one is simple and small. It should be easy though. Though hope there isn't too that many bugs. Hope you all enjoy more to come. Also, wouldn't mind seeing recordings of the playthrough. Better helps me make better helps me make maps and fix issues. You mean it this helps next you. test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. What are you doing? This next test involves emancipation uh, yeah, drills. Just, uh, Remember. I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. Oh god, that's just enough. Um, I Sorry think it's probably just... Mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. I think I missed something there. I might have been wrong. I was too annoyed, getting too annoyed with uh, GLaDOS, to be fair. Um, I've completely lost my train of thought, so... I apologize for that. Hmm. That's a bit um close quarter, isn't it? Good news. I figured out what to do with all the money I saved recycling your one room full of air. When you die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way future generations can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. Um, no, the only reason I say it, I felt like I missed something there, Coco, was because it kind of felt like there was um, like someone behind there. So, uh, road, uh, money there is, um, help to build the second chamber in this one. Congratulations. This pre-recorded congratulations assumes you have mastered the principles of portal momentum. If you have, in fact, not, you are encouraged to take a moment to reflect on your failure before proceeding into the next chamber. Big BTS area here. Excellent. I think you have earned a break from the official testing courses. On the catwalk, on the catwalk. Uh, I don't think that's going to lead to anywhere other than a gate, so that is not the right area to go, is it? Don't know if that port surface is going to come in handy. Looks like we might need to use it. be another portal surface somewhere. Right, where where the 
this surface be? Oh, is it like literally just over there? Where the bridge is out? Nope. Did I miss something up there? Possibly. Nice that they um, they've all Symmetra Hands also used the um, the correct um, cube models here for the BTS stuff. Um, I remember LB was having like a conversation about this at one point in the past where he said about everybody uses the wrong ones because in the vac tubes the cubes are actually silent they don't actually make a noise in um, in vanilla so oh there we are Ugh. this ain't gonna end well is it let's be honest oh we did it made it in one I am shocked. One moment. There. This next test involves turrets. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full It'd of It would be nice if that... I, oh, wait. I just nitpicking, but of course, that would have been really nice if that had gone flush to the floor rather than... Um, um, yeah, just sort of like stopping there. And yeah, uh-oh, turrets. We just said we didn't like turrets. Crazy outline shenanigans right there. What are you doing? I'm kidding. Destroying them is part of the test. They are no more important to you. Than you are to me. Okay, so the mistake we made there was we needed to we needed to keep that over there, but it doesn't matter so much now. Now that we got rid of the turrets, at least. Oh, wait a second there. Wait, does both... Sorry. Let me start again, because that was going to be a really badly structured uh, English sentence there. Um, okay, so we need to pull there, pull there, and then... Okay, so let's respawn the cube. And then we need to keep a portal in here for now. And we need... Point over to there. That is going to go to there. And then we should just finish up by shooting the portal. The best right way to build to confidence is to first recognize your insecurities. Well done. You know, oh, it's pretty nice. Some nice hammer map, nice good, um, a nice large um, BTS area as well, which is quite nice. Um, a lot of people don't do the silent tubes because Valve made their tubes with strict model animations for the cubes, so you can't really make your own unless you downright copy exactly the tubes that Valve made, okay? And um, Team Spend's hammer add-on allows you to make your own animations, though. Does it really? I don't really know a lot about like the add-ons and bits and pieces um, for Hammer, so 
Uh, yeah. And it reminds you of a mic map with the orange funnel. Uh, what part does? Funny. All right. Um, next, we got um, Rules Breaker version 2 by Mr. Fab. Come in, Robot Cop. It's your chief. First. Mr. Fab was uh, around earlier on, but they have since gone. Uh, there may be an Easter egg. I ain't sure. Pretty much any issues with it, with the test itself and problems with the BTS area. I've made changes to it, but still not sure it helps. Just any problems you have, please let me know. Here's the official comments we have on this. Let's have a look at the actual description. Classic K voice lines. Yeah, classic. It's a classic. Um, all right, so map inspired by Swing STs against the flow. The moment I knew about this silly mechanic, I knew I had to make a puzzle with it. All right, so I know which one they are talking. I know the mechanic they're talking about straight away. If you're having trouble with the mechanic, this is the best video to watch. Thanks, Crazy Pact, for finding an unintended solution, and Sheepdog for telling his feedback. Difficulties medium to hard, around 20 to 30 minutes for veterans. Um, CFG, Cube Throw, Re Portal, Bunny Hop are not intended. All right. So Against the Flow was um, a map from a good few years ago from Sunny, um, who is one of the mods on the channel. And it's a, basically a pretty nifty, um, it's a pretty nifty funnel mechanic, whereby you ride the funnel on the top like this. So that's basically the tutorial area. Sounds like voice sync phone calls. <laughs> You've never seen it? You've never seen the uh, ability to ride the tops of funnels before. Okay. I'm pretty sure like Sunny's original map was um, you had like balls and different bits and pieces and um, I thought it was more bouncy than it actually is but I guess not I guess they were just demonstrating there that you could do it in both directions uh, all right so let's on to the map itself So we need to get up to there some way, shape or form. I'm pretty sure yeah, it doesn't work both ways, which is... Um, I thought it did, but I guess not. So we have to get a cube into here, it seems, to block the laser. A lot of signage in here. I don't know how I feel about that. All that signage. Welp. Let's try that again, shall we? First cube. Don't worry about that one for now. Let's go back over to this side. 
which we can do normally using a funnel. Now we need to send a cube over to here it seems. Yeah, I think it would definitely uh, break some maps. Foul shell. Alright, so it's deactivated slash. So where was slash? get into there using a cube it seems I don't even know where slash is it, if I'm honest. So there, Caster. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Catch you later. Yeah, it's almost borderline the uh, Zool Puddle Zool Puzzle we played um, the other week, I think, Coco. Oh, okay. I think I might have seen something we could do, potentially. So we could maybe fling the cube over here and ourselves, actually. If we go into the funnel... Actually, maybe we should have just done it uh, while we we're still travelling across. That would have made more sense. Yeah. And I still wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's like glaringly obvious, though. If I'm honest. But yeah, it does at least make an effort to teach. It does at least make an effort to teach you it. Which is always good. Alright, so I'm going to save myself like resetting that up again. There we go. Alright. Through to here. Next. We have that there. So let's go back and get the cube again, I guess. why I want to see this and it's just like a viewpoint for what we need to do over here perhaps
This is looking an interesting section. Not sure how we're uh, going over here when there's no angled panels or anything. So that's interesting. Visible door hinges. Other than this, yeah. I think that, uh, yeah, I think it's just like custom B mod stuff. Not custom B mod, but yeah, B mod stuff. So, um, issue, we, we need the funnel, I think, we need to get in the funnel. So how do we... Yeah, I thought... I overlooked it. I thought it was as simple as like doing that and that and that. And then go and do this. However... In order to... Yeah, we're definitely going to need the funnel there. The return path. Ah. Then I think we can. Okay. So, judging the mechanic of the map, I should have been able to do. The jumpy thing there, but because of the yeah, okay, because of the um, I don't really know why I need to. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Maybe... Let me just save there a minute. What if I was to instead do something like... space there to get through there. Okay, that's not the answer. 
I don't think either I could save, so it's not a big deal if I pull through here. That's quite a big deal though. Yeah, the panel is stopping me. And... no way it seems to easily get to that. Now I can see I can see a move here. The issue being, though, I can't... So the, the move I'm seeing here would be... Cube on that button to bring out that. And I think that's how I get across to yonder. But I think, as well... I'm going to need two cubes to do that, aren't I? Move while looking at the sideways funnel. This is uh, Rules Breaker version 2, Dido Killer, by uh, Mr. Fab. Let's go back to this section here. We had this before, right? Alright, so that actually gets rid of that, so...
turns off that, whatever that is for. Exit is up there. We need to bring two cubes up to the exit. Gotcha. So I don't feel like we need to block that cube just yet. I know, I know. I'm just exploring, Mike. Don't worry. Portal police. <laughs> So, yeah. Oh, and tiredness kicking in. The coffee's wearing off. So, the only thing I can think to do at the minute is that, right? I guess that panel down there is the return path from down below. We go through into this side, but we ultimately need the funnel. So, we do that and we do that. See, I'm almost wondering here if I'm just like... What was your idea, Coco? Maybe move... Maybe you have to move while looking sideways in the funnel. So you mean sort of like this. Good shot, Coco. Good shot indeed. Alright. F6, we have two cubes. I need to stretch. Sorry, I've not got my... Um What did you just see? You just saw us breaking the rules, Mike. Portal police that. I am under portal arrest. Also hitting the ceiling. I am sentenced to one front page map. No! <laughs> Anything but that. Alright, so. Yeah, I don't really know why this is a thing. Alright, so, uh, next problem is, I think we need to take this through here, okay, I think I might see what we need to do here, actually, um, yeah, we'll do it over here. Must be midnight. There's my SQL doing its whatever it does on my computer at midnight every day. Uh, all right, so I need to just check here. So yeah, I want to put it on here, right? 
Now the weird thing is, you'd think that having that pole, I suppose that's the angle of power there, isn't it? Right, ignore me. Ignore me. Doesn't matter. Okay, so my uh, thought process here is that goes in there like that. Hmm. Okay, that does that and that does that. I don't know if that's right. I don't know if that's right or not. Yikes. Jeez. Um. Okay. So then here, I want to do this, but I want to reverse the funnel, I think. So here I need to reverse polarity somehow. Go back a minute. Can't get over there. So I think did I really not have a I guess I did not. Okay, well, um, kind of sucks a little bit. I don't know if the cube makes a difference here, which cube we use.
Do I have VR? No, I don't have VR at the moment. Uh, that was the wrong move, Knock. Okay, so the mistake I made before was not moving that pole. So now that I've done that, I can do that. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah. I tell you what, this is some, this is some crazy ass stuff here. We know how to combat this, right? Um, okay. It's a thing we did. We done did a thing. Okay. Next, that's permanently open now. So I think now we go back. Wait, I'm really confused here. Why? Oh, I guess the angles, I guess the panel angles are different. Ah. Okay. Okay, so I think what I need to do now then is... Oh, but wait, I need to... <sighs> okay, so now I could maybe remove that cube I think it's this one and then we can head back over to here Okay, now we have the funnel, we can go, oh, wait a second, where was Slash? Okay, Slash was over there, okay, so maybe, okay, let's go back. That's the whole sort of gimmick of the map, uh, T. Chapman. It's based on a concept by Sunny OST from a few years ago. He made a map um, where you could basically ride the funnels uh, on top of the funnels and do different things. What 
does that not turn off? Alright, well, we need to... Oh, that was a mistake. I shouldn't have come through here. Alright, so I need to send that cube through to the other side, basically, is the first step. Now, to do that, I think what we're going to do is one and two. Okay, so that sends that over to there. Now we can do this, right? Or not. How did I do it so, like, gracefully the first time? And then ride the funnel down here like this. Uh, you basically get on... The, the whole thing of it about it is you get on top of the funnel. And then because of the funnel is angled, you can actually like, just sort of bounce your way down the funnel. Okay. So, now we are in here. Are we done? I think we might be done. Maybe. Through here, drop out the funnel, send the cubes. Yeah, okay, so. What's in that cube at least? And then we send this one, I think we're done. It depends on the polarity of the funnel, Mike. It depends on the polarity of the funnel. So, if the... Do what? Or we just go out here. So, obviously, we've got the um, reverse funnel here, right? So, for this instance, um, here, you want to ride it down. So, again, the, the gimmick also, as well, is like is, is that all to do with like where you look as well. If you look like directly here into the funnel, you can't go against it, but you have to sort of like look up and above the funnel like that. So it's always, whichever way the funnel is going, you, you can go the opposite direction when it is um, sort of like this. Now, I don't know if I put a cube in here. And I was over here. I think I can go up as well. Um, maybe not. Maybe I can't go up. No, I think it, it is literally just you can go down. I think that's it, actually, Mike. Yeah, down is the only way you can go. So, yeah, at the top, ride the funnels up, but then you can go on the top of them back down again. So, uh, yeah, but that sort of uh, clears everything up. But, yeah, uh, pretty interesting um, extension to uh, Sonny's original concept and um, there was definitely some weird and wonderful panel angles there as well but um, it wasn't too bad a little bit quirky a little bit quirky but um, uh, it was expected it was explained and I kind of knew because of the concept that that's what we would be getting but guys that is going to bring us to the end of another fantastic episode of Portal 2 Community Chambers I want to thank everybody for hanging out with me tonight I really appreciate the support and uh, we will be back on Monday 
Um, we'll be back playing uh, Outer Wilds Monday, Tuesday, a week tomorrow, week Saturday. We will be back with more Portal 2 Community Chambers. Just a public service announcement from myself, though. Um, depending whereabouts you are in the world this weekend, um, the uh, British summertime ends for us this weekend. So if your clocks do not change or go back um, because of daylight savings um, this uh, weekend then the stream will be an hour earlier for you guys uh, next week or until your clocks change uh, wherever part of the world you live. So yeah, just uh, be aware that uh, the stream will be on slightly different times if your uh, clocks don't change for a week or two until everybody else kind of catches up. But thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate your support, like I said, as always. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Enjoy your weekend. And of course, stay safe. And until next time, happy gaming. Thanks, guys. Good night.